Hi, this is Kevin King uh, with Pinehurst Websites, and I'm going to show you today quickly how you can uh, create great photos for your e-commerce website. And uh, the way I do it is I just use an iPhone and an iPad, and of course you can use an Android phone, and um, you can use an Android tablet as well. So I like to use an iPhone because I have my photo stream hooked up, and uh, if you have a really good iPad, you can just shoot it with your iPad with the newer camera. It will be actually a great photo. So I'm going to use an app called PS Touch. So I shot some pictures with my iPhone, uh, and I can bring them right in. If you look on the bottom of the screen, you'll see there's a little plus picture thing, and that's where you import the pictures. Uh, just tap on that. I have a picture right here uh, on my camera roll that I want to bring in and you have also have the option to go to your photo stream in that same uh, screen. I'm going to use what's called the scribble select tool so if it's not on it by default I'll just show you where it is. It's the third one down where the magic wand is. Just scroll down that and then scroll over and it's the one with the plus and minus called scribble selection tool. So it's going to be set on keep by default which is uh, the check mark box on the top as you can see and you just want to get as tight to the corners as you can or the edge of the, the product and you can use your finger or you can use a stylus is fine. Either way it does a pretty good job. So now I'm just going to hit the remove which is uh, the X and that will make a red line where the keep makes a green line and that's the area obviously that you want to remove. So we want to get as tight to the bottom of this product as possible and to the sides and uh, it did a pretty good job on the selection there. So if we just uh, go in a little bit closer we can just remove a little you can uh, just zoom in, pinch in which is nice and you can just get to a little closer on the product and now we see our selection is really pretty good. So we've got a good selection now what we want to do is we're going to use a hit the top tool menu it's the box on the top and it says refine edges at the bottom you're going to choose that tool and you're just going to go you want to be half on half off the edge of the product and what's going to do is just smooth the edges for you so that they're not blocky or digital so you want to take a look at the selection that looks pretty good except for this little spot up here on the corner got a little bit too much so if we hit the eraser on that section now we got that see how it has a really nice selection on it let's go ahead and click OK And now we're just going to hit the pencil tool at the top of the screen and we're going to hit uh, the extract. And now it's going to extract that item. Looks pretty good. And the only thing that we want to do right now is we want to add another layer and make it white. So here. So we want to add an empty layer and we're going to go up to the top where the ampersand sign is and hit the fill stroke. Oops. First we want to deselect this. So we deselect the item. And now it doesn't have the dancing uh, line around the edge, um, or this, it's called the selection line. So now what we want to do is we've got this layer that we've created over here on the right, and we just want to fill that with white. And that layer is on top now, and if we go to the right, we're just going to drag that layer below the photo. And now on the right hand side, we're going to select or tap on the photo. So now we've got a really good uh, cut out of the picture and you can actually move that picture around you can hit this tool at the top and allows you to uh, either increase the size of it or if you want to tilt the picture you can tilt the picture a little bit make it a little straighter and uh, the other thing that you can do with this is you can um, you can go in and you can go to the the image I'm sorry and you hit on this uh, double line up here and just do uh, increase the exposure by dragging this line a little to the left. And it's going to make this item brighter. As you can see, it's getting brighter and brighter. So you just drag it just a tiny bit to the left from where you started, and it just brightens it up. The last thing I like to do is hit the ampersand. Uh, you can crop it as well if you need to crop it. 
uh, but you go to your image size and make sure that it's big enough for wherever you want to put it. 1600 is the minimum uh, size of the longest side uh, on eBay. You have to have at least the 1600 uh, pixel side. So now if I want to crop this, I would go to that ampersand and just you just drag it in, tightly crop pictures, and you're done. Now what this will do is it'll save the picture like this in that size. You hit the arrow at the top left hand corner, hit save, and it's going to save it in Adobe uh, uh, Photoshop Touch here. And here's the item, it's the last one. You can actually at this point you can go in and rename it. So if you want to call it Blue Purse or something. And then from here you can email it, you can save it to your camera roll. I have an app that allows me to put items onto my website so I can take it right from uh, my iPad if I save it to my iPad. So if you hit the little arrow up here on the top, just save to camera roll for me or you can email it. Uh, so I just save it to camera roll and then from there I can uh, tap on the item and save it as a JPEG on the camera roll and we're done. And then I can put it right onto my website and you've got a beautiful picture all cut out on white and um, that's all there is to it. So I have uh, more tutorials on how to shoot the photos on my website, pinehurstwebsites.com. You can click the link in the uh, description below this video and take you to pinehurstwebsites.com. And there's lots of videos uh, for e-commerce uh, solutions on putting items on your site. Uh, I do websites as well, so we can do a great website for you. Just check out that link in the description below this video and I have tutorials on my website how to increase your SEO and everything else. So thanks for tuning in. Hope this was helpful for you.